Hello there. I'm Timmy, and today we're gonna peep into the life and painting style of the famous painter Andy Warhol, and find out why people call him the King of Pop Art. Oh, hello, Haley. What are you doing here, Timmy? Are you starting the episode without me? I'm just so excited to know more about Andy Warhol and why they call him the King of Pop Art. And that's what we、we'll、discover in the second episode of Arts Peeps. Today's artist is Andy Warhol, a famous painter from the United States. Born in Pennsylvania in 1928, our artist moved to New York to pursue his painting dreams at the age of 21. He started out by drawing fashion magazine advertisements and eventually became one of the leaders of an art movement called pop art that got famous during the 1960s. He created amazing pop art paintings and screen printings throughout his career. Could you tell us what screen printings are, Haley? Screen printing is a printing process used to make several similar artworks. Warhol preferred screen printings because he could make multiples of the same picture. Andy would sometimes present a collection of prints in different colors. Hmm. And what is pop art? I knew you were eager to ask me that. Pop art began in the United Kingdom and soon traveled to the United States. Pop artists believed that art shown in museums and taught in schools didn't clearly reflect reality. That's why back then it was unusual to paint portraits of famous people and simple objects from our everyday life, like this painting of a sandwich by Wayne Thiebaud. Mmm, this makes me hungry. See, before pop art, there was what we call classical art. The art culture was completely disconnected from real life and real people. One of the things that made pop art so unique was the fact that it chose to focus on real and normal subjects. Primary colors like red, blue, and yellow are frequently found in pop art. The colors are bright and similar to those found in a comic strip. Andy Warhol painted a lot of portraits of himself, and is known for painting images related to popular culture, like Coca-Cola bottles and celebrities. Hey, Timmy, do you know what this is? Oh, oh, oh! I know, Campbell soup. Yes, the painter made a print of Campbell soup cans, a popular brand of soup in the United States. He said he ate Campbell's tomato soup every day for lunch for 20 years. He must love soup. What about you, Timmy? Do you love soup? Me, I love chicken soup. Mmm, that's healthy and delicious. In December 1961, a friend suggested that Warhol paint something he liked the most in the world, and he said, "Cans of soup." The artist presented his Campbell soup canvases, one for each of the company's 32 soup flavors. He was able to sell all of the paintings. Warhol's work quickly became famous across the world, and he was at the center of the new pop art trend. And that's why, Timmy, he is now known as the king of pop art. Hey, Timmy, here's a trivia question for you: Which one of these three paintings is pop art? What about you? What do you think? Is it、oh, the first one? You're right. It is the first one. Did you get it right too? Andy Warhol was inspired by the beauty of colors as well as new and trendy things. What do you think would inspire him if he was still living today? Episode two of this series of art speeds has come to an end. Thank you for watching, my dear friends. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss the next episode of Arts Peeps. See you soon.